because the boots are just, you know, they are it. So nobody can actually complain about this. <laughs> clicking on today's video welcome to a brand new fashion video today is the like the title set a video about shopping my own wardrobe so i will be put together around five spring outfits from all of the items that i already have in my wardrobes so in 2022 i want to be more sustainability about my purchases than i was in 2021 because in 2021 i shopped a lot i really did shop a lot and in 2022, it's not that I don't shop anymore, but I really have been restricting myself for not spending all my money because it's not needed. I've come to the conclusion that I have a good basic wardrobe that I can rotate for many, many seasons, for many years actually, and I don't really need to buy something new. Of course, I really want to be a fashion influencer and I can show you the, the same stuff every single time. So that's why you see a lot of new things on my channel but obviously not everything that i show you i keep so in today's video some of the items will look very familiar to you because you already have seen it but maybe some of the items you will not see yet and i'm really excited to show you some of the items that i thought of so if you are new here and you like fashion and styling video then please consider subscribing to my channel and if you are excited for today's video then please give it a thumbs up and now let's move on to the first look. So here I am with the first look. And this is a look that I've actually put together last year. And I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I'm definitely going to wear it again this spring. So the blouse is from Shein. So it was really affordable. And I will see if they still got, some, got this one or something similar. And it's like a chain pattern that's come into fashion a couple years ago. And I'm really loving this one. It's not with any buttons or something, so you have to pull it just over your head. And it is definitely a, see, a little bit see-through. So if you would wear this to the office, then I would suggest you wear something underneath it. But for now, a bra will do just fine because it's not super see-through. And I've paired up with this... Um, it's a pair of jeggings, not exactly jeans, but they feel like jeans. These I bought last year to replace one of my older white jeans that I had. And I'm really happy with this pair because they feel really, really good. They're from the brand only. So I think they will still have something like this. I think they do this every year. So I think I can still leave them linked down below. And I really love the combination because this is super springy, of course. Because it's white, it's fresh, and we love it when the sun shines and we all go in white. And then a lovely blouse is, you know, just perfect because it still covers you up all the way, but it's it's light weighted, it is thin, so you won't get too hot in this. So in my last video, if you have not watched it, then please do. I already talked a little bit about loafers because I think they are the perfect spring shoe because they cover up most of your feet. And I have these, which are like the faux suede ones. So the material of it still looks a little bit warm. And they are very, very comfortable. These are from Bon Prix. This one I personally love because they have also like a gold detail here, like a gold chain, which then matches back in the belt that I pair up with it. This one is from Aldo. But I think loads of other brands do a similar design like this. And I just really love this whole look together. I don't need a belt for this pair of jeggings, but I just love it how it looks together with all the gold details. And of course, this blouse just, you know you have to pair up with gold hardware and not silver or rose gold. Maybe rose gold, but definitely gold is the best way to go. I only tucked it in here at the front and from the back. I left it out so it's really casual from the back but really put together from the front and you can easily also wear this to the office I would definitely wear this to the office and it is super put together look I love this so here I am with the second look and this dress is already from the website Finted so it is already a second handed piece I'm seriously very very happy that I found this one because I hunt the internet down for this dress because I really wanted to buy it actually when it was in on the Zara website itself but it got sold out and I didn't know my size and you know, well, you know 
I wasn't really confident buying online things in 2019 because this is a 2019 dress. Well, the dress is such a lovely little dream. It is really, really cute. So we have a quite low neckline, but not too low. And then the buttons here in the middle and then with a big statement belt in the middle, which really cinched you in. And then the pleats that go down, but also go up here. It is really nice, really nice details. You have three quarter sleeves and at the end you have like a little piece of material to make a bow, but I can't really make a bow because the material is really, it's kind of stiff and it also is really not a lot of room to make a bow, but it, it's nice. You can of course also make it a little bit shorter, but then a lot of fabric comes in here and you can make like really puffy sleeves, but for me three quarter is really good. I've had it up with nude tights because it's still spring when we wear this out and it still could be a little bit cold so I don't want to be completely bare-legged but these are from Primark, the ones that I have and nobody actually really sees that I'm wearing tights so these are so good for me. So the dress I packed up with my beloved River Island boots, I've shown you them already so many times and I will try to find something similar to leave link down below. This is such a lovely dress and I love this whole outfit. I would definitely wear this to loads of different occasions even to work because you're still completely covered up, you're wearing even tights and of course the boots are just you know they are it so nobody can actually complain about this. Okay, next a look you all know by now, but I had to show it because it is a perfect spring outfit. I did actually buy this in winter, but because of the sleeves are not long sleeves, they are not three quarter again, they are in between. It is a little bit cold for the uh, wrists here. And I do get really cold hands, so I didn't really thought the temperatures were high enough to wear it outside. but. The temperatures are here, I've worn it last week actually to work and last weekend when I went to the city. It was such a nice day. Anyway, I love this. But the thing is, I paired it up a little bit differently than the last few times I show it to you guys. Because I was always wearing it with something uh, white underneath, but I'm actually we're pairing it now up with something pink. And I own almost throw away this lovely knitted top and I don't know why because it's actually everything that I love but I've almost thrown it away and then I kept it and then I'm so happy I did because it looks so good with this set it looks so good because there is actually slightly pink I think the camera is catching it or you know because you notice that there is pink in it so this goes so well and it's also like a knitted material so I don't know why I did not think of it sooner because it's so lovely. Now of course this is my lovely beloved set from River Island, my beloved tweed set from River Island that I'm so happy that I kept and I pair it up with actually these tights. These are like lacy tights, white or cream and they have like a flower pattern on it so it is such a nice one. I have this one for years in my wardrobe and I never wear them actually. I only wear them with like special occasions, so when it's like a birthday or when it's like Christmas, I wear them for Christmas in a red dress, really pretty. I would wear this definitely outside because I feel very comfortable in it and I love it with the little ankle boots. Could also wear my knee high boots, the white ones, but these are also really pretty and so comfortable and perfect for spring because they do keep you warm, your feet but they're not like super warm because they're only like here to, until the ankles. So that's why they're perfect for spring. So as you can see the top is with lovely little sleeves and I'm a sucker for everything that's knitted with short sleeves. So I do not know why I thought it was a good idea to throw this away. But again, this would be a perfect outfit to wear to work. And I did actually wear this to work, but I did not wear these tights. I was wearing my cashmere tights. But they are in the wash, so I couldn't show you. So that's why I paired it up with these lace, lacy tights. And I do think they go really well with it. It is very feminine because of the flower patch that's on it. And of course the tweed set is super feminine. So here we are with another look. And these are all pieces I already had in my wardrobe. I only packed this up yesterday and I wore this to work. 
I did, however, wear dark tights. I wear dark brown tights because I was going to work and I didn't want to be like too much of a statement. Because my colleagues are not really like me. They're really wonderful people, but they don't really dress like I do. So, yeah. Anyway, the point is, I am so proud of myself for pairing this up together because I love all the colors together. And with the skin colored tights and then with boots and with the faux leather skirt, it just matches so well together. I do absolutely love this. I'm really happy. So what I did, I paired up these uh, second-handed again from Zara. And you can buy this on Vinted, I think for around seven euros. I bought this for seven euros. So it's super, super good quality and it is super affordable. So I really recommend it. If you want this skirt, go on Vinted and you can find it definitely. The blazer is from New Look. I bought this on the Zalando Lounge website, um, but I'm pretty sure you can find a similar blazer. This one has like not three quarter sleeves, but also not long sleeves, so a little bit in between as you can see. Which is really good for spring because you cannot really get cold, but you also are not too warm. And of course, the good thing about the blazer is you can take it off. And then I put on this beloved, lovely, and I mean super lovely little, um, I think it's still a knitted top from Forever New. So it has like sheer puffy sleeves with like little polka dots on it. It is so cute. And of course it has like short sleeves, which is perfect again for spring because it will cover you up. It's still really good to wear to work, for example, because of the high neck and the sleeves. But you still look really feminine and put together, especially if you wear white footwear with it, for example, these boots. But of course, you can also go for like ankle boots or maybe even some lovely heels. But I paired up with boots because in spring, this is the only season that I think you can get away wearing dresses with boots and nude tights. <laughs> because you don't do that in winter, or well, maybe also in autumn. But only spring and autumn then. Only spring and autumn you can wear short skirts or dresses with boots like this. Um, Knee-high boots, that is. I think this is such a lovely look. I'm so happy I paired it up together. So the top from Forever New, I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I will leave a link down below. It's a cropped top, but it is such a good material. Forever New is a more pricey brand, but the quality is so good. I mean it. I seriously think this is one of the most fine tops I have in my wardrobe and I just kind of forgot about it because I bought it at the end of autumn and I have not worn it. I've worn it once and now I'm wearing it again and I'm so happy with it. It's perfect. I love it. The last thing I want to say about the skirt is that the quality of this faux leather is so good. I do think this is one of the best things Zara has made that I have tried. And it's also really nice lined from the inside. It's super soft for your skin, really nice. And it's like a paperback style here at the top, but it's super feminine. And you can really cinch it in here with the belt that comes with it. So here I am mixing the old pieces with the new in pieces from my wardrobe. So these are the Molly jackings from River Island and I've been wearing them already so much and I think I've also had them now for two years in my wardrobe. This is a blazer from Zara which I bought last autumn winter and this is a new top which I bought for my ASOS order which was two weeks ago. This is another great option for spring because you are still covered up with your legs and a lovely blazer which gives you the opportunity to, if you be cold, keep it on. If you are hot, you do it off. And it also brings us back to the loafers. This is a very natural color palette, a natural color palette look. And I think it's classy, it's put together and you can definitely wear this to spring. Maybe the jeggings are a little dark, but when you come into those early spring days, I think even this color is great. And when you pair up with a lighter blazer, or if you wear it up with a lighter top, I think this color goes even well in spring. So if we take off the blazer, the look is like this. Again, a lovely top with like short sleeves, which makes it again perfect for work. The neckline is, is like big 
but it's high so covered up perfectly it is a little bit of a cropped top so that's why the molly jeans are a good option because they go a little bit more high waisted than my normal jeans and i think the colors just look so good together i love this natural look and also these loafers go perfectly and like i said they are so comfortable so this is a very comfortable look that you could also wear to the office the top is from the brand jacqueline de jong which is uh g d i and yeah i do i do normally don't like that brand because it's just not really my style but this one really is because of the gold buttons here at both sides it's just cute and it gives it a little bit of extra detail which otherwise it won't be the neckline is like very new to me i've not seen this much for the rest it's just a ripped material and it is just uh, also like not too thick so great for spring and i do think this is another cute look i would wear this to the office i would wear this to meet up friends i would wear this to the groceries it is a very versatile look i would say not overdressed but also not underdressed just great for the occasion i think the blaze is quite versatile because you can also like wear this as your spring jacket because it's quite thick and it's also lined from the inside it's a good quality tweed so you can also just like wear this as a spring jacket when it's a little bit cold in the morning and then take it off when you go to work or when you arrive at work or when you arrive at wh whatever you're going so yeah i think this is also a really good option and if you wear it closed then people can at least see the beautiful buttons that they have put on this lovely blazer so yeah i'm very happy with this one so everyone, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun putting these outfits together, which fringe that I already have in my wardrobe, so I don't have to buy anything new anytime soon. <laughs> it probably won't stop me from doing it anyway. I will, however, do a proper video about perfect spring summer coats that will be up, I hope, next week and otherwise probably the week after because I've seen some really pretty things on the market right now that I think you guys are going to love as well. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, please don't forget to give the videos a little love by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fashion videos. And I would love it if you join our community. So you can let me know in the comments down below if you liked this video. You can also let me know if you like it when I film from this angle. And you can also let me know if you like more style inspiration from my own wardrobe. So this was it all for this week and I will see you all next. Bye now! Like, um, Lee.